Oh, okay. How many times do you ever pick up one of those pre-made bouquets from the flower store and you like a few of the things in it, but you don't like it all? Well, there is a way to zhoosh it up, and we are joined by two ladies who are pretty much experts in that area. We have Liz Sloan as well as Jen Richmond from Pretty Together. Ladies, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you for having thank us. Yeah, thanks so for having lovely. us. And you all are pretty together. Y'all look uh, amazing. Oh, thank you. And we are going <laughs> to... Tried extra hard today. Well, you look good. <laughs> you look good. And tell us a little bit about how Pretty Together came to be. So during the pandemic, uh, Liz and I decided to start a blog focusing on entertaining since we didn't get to do it anymore during the pandemic. <laughs> Um, and that has kind of slowly grown into uh, doing consulting and styling for small events, like 50 people or less. And also we rent tabletops. So if you don't know what to do, you go on our site, you click a tabletop, we bring it over, you're done. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. So that's what we do. And you're also a photographer as well. So you got you all are combining both of your passions yep. and your areas of expertise. Yes. And now St. Louis can really enjoy it. At yes. The tip of their, well, I also love flowers. I go and buy a bouquet of flowers every week, and I get it. Sometimes you like the way it looks, but it's not what you need it to be. Right. So walk us through what we're doing today to kind of add a little bit of love to these bouquets in our home. So, right, you walk into a grocery store and you see the pre-made bouquets, and that's the easiest thing to pick up and grab, right? Um, but there's usually a lot of singular flowers there you can pick up as well, especially in places like Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. Um, so basically what we want to show you today is that you don't have to buy that pre-made bouquet. You can make your own and make something absolutely beautiful and it doesn't take a lot of skill. And I love that. And what are we, what are we going to be looking for when we're inside of the store shopping to add to our bouquets? Good question. Um, you're basically going to want your focal flowers, which are going to be your bigger flowers, um, like this pin cushion protea over here, beautiful. the roses over here, something like a hydrangea or a peony, something that's bigger. Um, and then you're going to want your filler flowers, which are going to kind of be smaller. They're going to add to the vocal flowers and add some texture. And then you're also going to want some greenery to fill in. And oftentimes we use greenery to create kind of like a base for everything else. And the greenery gives it a little extra, a little extra life. It yeah. makes it feel more botanical it and does. organic and flowy. That, that extra layer of just love. Yes. Yes. Love and plant goodness. And Jen, what are we going to put this bouquet in? So we just brought this little pot uh, today. We, you can always put, obviously, flowers in a vase with water. Liz and I actually prefer using floral foam because then you can put your flowers and arrange them however you want and they'll stay that way. So how we like to do this is you've got your floral foam. We kind of make a little indention on it so we kind of see where the pot is. Whatever your vessel is, right? whatever the pot is. And then we just kind of cut around like that. We're going to cut around like this. And then we're going to submerge this guy in water. And when I say submerge, you're going to put it in a sink just full of water or a tub or whatever. You're not going to force it down. You're going to let it sink to the bottom on its own. And when all the bubbles have come out um, and it's down in the bottom, it's time to put it in the thing. It's ready to go. And once you do that, then you can go ahead and begin to put in your flowers. How do you all go about picking that base, like you said? And this one's I'm going to go ahead and pull this. So I already soaked it. one of these. I already <laughs> cut it and soaked it, so we were ready. You have to wait for that step here. I'm just going to put that down in there, right? Quick and easy. So first, we talked about that base of greenery, and you ready to help me? Oh, absolutely. So let's start with these guys, since they're kind of sturdier. And they're going to just kind of go in and around the outside in a bunch of places, kind of keeping them lowish. Okay. It kind of like quite an angle. Do you all do a lot of cutting? Pre -cutting I have already pre-trimmed these for us because I uh, I didn't think we'd have time. You know, <laughs> we're, on just, we're making all. some TV magic happen. Right. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> so that's kind of your base, right? Okay. Um, maybe some of these more flowy guys, a different kind of greenery. Again, we're just like adding some texture. We kind of want to cover the foam at the base, right? So that part's kind of important from the outside. And then after we get some greenery in, the next thing we're going to reach for are our filler flowers. Not our filler flowers, our focal flowers. Our focal they both flowers. start with F. And you can... In that case, they're the roses, because that's our biggest flower. And you probably want an odd number. It's a kind of a design rule. Yes, design oh, rule. I learned something new mm -hmm. today. Oh, yeah, design Always odd, odd numbers. numbers. It'd be real weird three, to put two in here. Three let's is magical. Five. Yeah. Okay, let's do three. She said three is the magic really? number. No, I already didn't do it that way. <laughs> yep. We're going to keep late. going. There we go. We have five yellow roses. We're just tossing these guys in here. 
I actually think I brought nine. You know, whatever. We'll just keep going. We'll keep going. And <laughs> as you go, it's like a really good idea to spin the arrangement and see how it looks from different directions. Like, now I can see there's an empty spot here that I couldn't see before. And then you have one in the middle, which is fun. And now start reaching for any of the fillers. Okay. So we're just going to start putting in, with these little guys, I like to kind of do them in bunches. Mm -hmm. And you're just going to start filling in those holes, right? Oh, this is so fun. This is also a little cathartic, too. Well, we're going to keep yeah, working. Yeah. Yeah. But if people are interested in your blog, tell us about where they can find you all. Jen? Pretty so together. they can find us at prettytogether.com. Um, you can actually contact us through there as well as rent our tabletops. Um, but we try to post everything from arrangements to tabletops to recipes and just tips and tricks <laughs> on how to entertain for large crowds, small crowds, and all that stuff in between. Um, but yeah, we love it when people <laughs> contact us out. and just say hi, because it's it's lonely in the inner space. Oh, webs, it, is. You know? like, it is, it is lonely on the web, so go ahead and reach out. Yeah, reach Show out. Show them some love. They do have some incredible recipes on their website. Again, it's the two ladies of Pretty Together, Jen and, and we Liz. Just this in like and a minute. we are feeling like, almost there, beautiful. there right? Oh my gosh, happy Valentine's yes. Day. That was great. <laughs> and I'm glad you are. We'll have a lot more Studio STL in just a couple of minutes.